Ooh, okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, do it before we begin plug. You ready? Before we begin this whole uh, tutorial, I'd just like to plug myself at twitch.tv slash the hot swap link in the description. Uh, thanks and enjoy the video. What's going on guys? I'm hot swap and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the payday 2 restoration mod. Uh, the restoration mod is a mod that kind of reverts some things at payday 2, makes some small adjustments and overall makes it a different experience if you're just looking for that or you're getting kind of bored of the way the game is now because it's been the same for a while or whatever it's a fantastic mod and i'd highly recommend all right so once you're ready to go the first step we need to do is download the microsoft visual c 2017 redistribution package so you do that simply by following the links in the description uh, downloading this binary file and running it so once it's run, uh, you'll need to restart your computer, and once you'll do so, you'll be good to go. So step two is just as simple. What you need to do for step two, after restarting your computer, is download the Super BLT mod, also linked below. This is the screen you'll be taken to, it's also where we found the C++ redistributable package. You download the latest release of the DLL, and save the file. Once in your downloads, you open your zip, and you'll notice there's a DLL in it. And with that DLL, you'll navigate your way to wherever your Payday 2 file is located, usually in your Steam, Steam Maps, Common, and Payday 2. This one's a simple drag and drop, and you'll see wsoc32.dll is now inside the Payday 2 file. If you have um, this iphlpapi.dll you need to delete it out of your folder and also delete your mods folder this is from the old blt and it has some conflicts with the one we're working on now so once you've done that go ahead go back to steam and launch your payday 2 again you want to download the pl2 base mod yes and you become hacker man for a second and you got to launch it again as easy as that so, once you get here, you'll notice mods are up to date. If you go into your options, there will be a mod options. That's perfect. That's just what we want. So you can close out. Oh, and sometimes Payday 2 doesn't like the close. So you got to Alt F4. But to double check and make sure that that's installed properly, go to your Payday 2 and make sure there's a mods folder. Now, this is where we're going to be putting the rest of the mods that we're downloading to get the restoration mod working. So that will be respectively Beardlib, Voiceline Framework, the Restoration Mod itself, and then the Restoration Mod Map Pack. So we're going to sit here and wait for those to download. I'll see you when it's over. So once you're downloading, you'll see I'll, I've put them all on the desktop. You'll open your Payday 2 folder. And one by one, go through these mods, open up the zip, and just drag and drop these folders into the mods folder. So, once you're done here, just double check, make sure you got the restoration mod, maps, gold, voice framework, beardlib, go back and make sure you have WSOC, and you should be good to go. So from here, you can launch Payday from your Steam. All right, so once your Payday 2 is booted, go to options, go to mod options, restoration mod options, and finally SC mod option, Check this little thing that says complete overhaul and restart Payday 2. <laughs> so something you'll notice once you get in, you are 0-0, zero, zero. you have none of your skills, none of your money, nothing, you're stuck with the default weapons, and that's just kind of how it plays. Because what it d does is to make sure you don't corrupt the prior save or um, maybe you don't want to mess with it, it creates a separate save in which all of your information is stored elsewhere. So like, I don't think the two saves would be compatible just because there's different perks, like clowns are scary, or explosive headshot, just different little things around here. You'll notice the perks are different, etc. Like you can have four ECMs, but they last less. Anyways, so just to prove it works, we're gonna do a quick heist and call it a day. So the funny thing about all this is uh, you don't have any skills or weapons or anything else so whatever you do you got to be good 
see, this is an example. He is not going to do a pager until I kill him. So, we stab him, and now his pager shows up. So you'll notice another guard found us. No biggie. Let's go find an easy one to stealth. Now, you'll notice his pager doesn't go off, and that's because we dominated him. See? Not having to shoot, not having to do a thing. See? We had to kill that guy. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. So just like that, we have the bank. We're gonna wait on the drill, and I'll uh, I'll see you on the other side. It's a little time consuming. Oh, so when you're bored, uh, don't forget to grab packages because if this is your first heist or something, you're not gonna have any attachments, and it's just it's good practice. Yes, he do. Hi, little guy. I'm sorry. It must be done. You're being too peaceful. This was inconvenient. Poor guy. Bane says civilians are an asset. I don't really think they are. Uh, they're like worth eight grand. I could reasonably kill a couple of civilians and just like pay for it if I needed, you know? And if you kill more than that, you could like go to the bank and get a loan. I don't know. I think it's worth it, right? It's Bill fucking Murray. Wild. I think I can make a grenade in that window. The answer's no. So, end conclusion, the mod's installed, hopefully you have a good time with it. There's some new units and stuff in Loud as well. Uh, I, I just enjoy it. And, um, well, sometimes uh, Bank Heist Deposit's still going to be your Bank Heist Deposit, no matter what coat you put on it. But, um, ooh, also the Custom Heist are pretty cool, I should have done that. It's fine. Anyways, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thehotswap. And, uh, yeah. Have a good one.